Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. Woot! Today I'm looking at something different again, something from Rough Riders. And it's this guy here, the Rough Rider Black Titanium Muskrat. Yep, Muskrat. Let's check it out. So you may remember a couple of videos back, I showed you this knife here. And this is actually a Muskrat. I found that out by looking it up and trying to figure out what it was because I couldn't find any information on it. The only thing available on it was it said stainless Pakistan on it there. That's all it had on it. This was a, a knife that was given to me with a bunch of fishing stuff from about 20 years ago. So it's been around and I found it the other day uh, looking through my stuff, my fishing stuff, because uh, hey, summer's coming. Got to get out there and do some fishing. I decided to look it up and figure out just what is this knife and what's the deal with the two blades. Well, I found out it's a muskrat. So I went online and I thought I want to find another one. Is the same? Is it really a muskrat? This is what I got. And it's the Rough Rider Black Titanium RR1784 muskrat. So let's check it out. And it comes in the usual box. They do a nice package box on it. They're all about the same, just have different patterns on them and that. And here it is here. This is the Rough Rider Muskrat. And this is a smaller version. Obviously, as you can see, they come in different sizes. I just got this one because I wanted one that would sit in my pocket that wouldn't bother me with weight or size. And if you have a look, see here, the things on it here, and you can see the handle is kind of a blackish color, and you have your bolsters, your blades, and it has the Rough Rider insert on it there. Very nice, very clean, typical for Rough Rider. When you open it up, the whole muskrat thing is all to do with blades, and the style of blades, and how they are mounted on the knife. Now, the muskrat uh, knife originally was designed for trapping. In 1940, I think it was, the uh, muskrat came about. Trappers out there looking on small game and having to trap them and then skin them and that sort of thing. They came up with this design. Now, a lot of people will refer to this as a muskrat trapper. I'm not so sure about that. I believe the trapper knives, typically both blades are on one side of the handle. And with the muskrat, it has them on each side. The whole idea of a muskrat is to have two blades to do some really delicate skinning, typically on the skull. So they would get their muskrat, hang it, peel it like a, basically peel it like taking off a sock, and then to get around the, the skull and things like that, they needed to do some delicate work. And that's what these were used for, um, really designed for that. This day and age, people use them for everything. Very popular as a pocket knife. Now it has the two blades. And the reason for the two blades is you could sharpen them really nicely to do your skinning. And obviously, if you're doing a lot of skinning and you're getting some delicate work done and the blade gets a little dull, you don't want to have to stop, sharpen it, and start again. You would just go to the second blade, which would be ready and sharp, and off you go again. That was the whole idea of the muskrat. The Rough Rider Black Titanium Muskrat. And their model number is RR1784. And if you want to look it up, you can uh, search for it that way. A uh, ton of them out there. And they have different styles. When I say styles, the handles are a little different. I just like the idea of the black uh, bone. And uh, so that's what the one I got. Obviously, this is a lot smaller. Like I said, they come in different sizes. The more delicate work you want to do, the smaller the, your blade's going to, and thinner your blade's going to have to be. So this guy here, just like every muskrat, has your two blades. And like I said, they're mounted on opposite sides of the handle. You can see them there. And yep, if you're thinking clip point, that's exactly what they are. Both blades 
are exactly the same. Now, these are called clip points. The thing about this one is you see how long and thin that clip point comes. You know, a lot of people refer to this as a Turkish clip or a California clip point. Basically, it's a clip point that's really pronounced. The reason is when you're getting in there to do delicate work, you want that really thin blade so you can get in there underneath the skin and cut away at it and peel it back without damaging the skin. So you have your two blades. I'll just close up one here because they're both the same. It's just easier to see there. So it has the Rough Rider label on it. They do. They have the Rough Rider logo just underneath there, the double R. So, like I said, clip point, uh, nice and thin, very sharp. Uh, the blade length on both of them is the same, and it's exactly three inches from the bolster to the tip. So it's not a very big blade, but like I said, for delicate work, you don't need a big blade. Same thing on the other side. Both blades exactly the same, made from, like all Rough Riders, it is 440A stainless steel. And I believe it is tit black titanium coated, is what they say. So it is a coating. They do say it is coated with bl uh, black titanium. So there you can see the blade is a very nice blade, nice and clean. Say hello to Mary. She's uh, having issues today. So looking for company. So there you can see it there. And like I said, 440A stainless steel. And it has that deep clip point otherwise known as a California or a Turkish. The blade thickness, by the way, and if you can see, it's really thin, is one sixteenth of an inch. So it is a nice tiny little knife. You can carry it in your pocket. Pretty handy, I think, as a regular uh, EDC style type knife. And on the blades here, you can see your pulls, your nail pulls. Um, I call it a thumbnail pull. Both blades have that, so you can get them out. And it does have that that false blade on the top. Let me see if I can focus up here a little bit better. You can see it there. Very pretty blades. Uh, Rough Rider do do a nice job. Their, their, their knives are, are really clean um, and well made. I like that. The closed length of the knife, this one in particular is 3.5 inches, which is pretty typical for all the other models out there. Like I said, this one here, little bit bigger and you can see here obviously this one will do a lot more delicate work the uh, blades you can see the difference here on the size of the blades huge difference this one uh, like i said is a really old knife it's kind of beat up i've got to clean it up and fix it it does have a a lock back and it does clip this one does not it's just simply open and close spring assisted holding it in there. The blades aren't going to come out. You can see they pull right back in right away. It does have the same thing when it's open. It is not a locked blade. But when you're doing delicate work with it, it is a small knife. You're not going to be doing heavy stuff. So having a problem with that, I, I don't see it. Like I said, closed, 3.5 inches. The blades, 3 inches each how much it is overall let's just measure it with both blades open obviously that's not how you use it so a quick measurement here and i'm going to go tip to tip eight and a half inches so from that tip across to that tip eight and a half inches you'd never really use it both ways it'll be one blade at a time and like i said as this one gets dull and you want to keep working you just go over to the other blade which would be nice and sharp and you can finish your your job the blade edge here um, the actual cutting edge is just a plain cutting edge you can see there the uh, blade comes down I don't know if you'll be able to see that the blade just comes down uh, same thickness and then to a a nice plain edge on the bottom here you can see it there very nice as per Rough Rider I love these guys' knives. They look nice. Um, they're well finished. I'm very impressed with them. If you look in here, you can see it does have brass supports on the handle there. The handle itself is a black smooth bone. And it's supported uh, with nickel silver 
pins and you can see them there three of them there there and there and then of, of course they have their insert on it there the total weight of the knife is 2.56 ounces not very heavy nice size i like it you can see it in my hand there um, and like i said the double blade uh, like i said before it's often referred to as a muskrat trapper which i i think is kind of a is not correct um, having looked up trappers you can see a picture up here typically the blades are not at the ends on both sides they're on one side and speaking of the ends of the handle you can see it does have uh, nickel plated um, bolsters on it yeah, just to help um, with the knife and you can see it's very very well made this thing is clean and you can see the the R on the rough rider on the end of that one very nice well made clean like this knife and now i know what a muskrat knife is never knew that before and a little bit of a history about it and hopefully you learned something as well <laughs> how much did i pay for this guy well this much not bad less than 20 bucks can't beat that with one of my big walking sticks. <laughs> Rough Rider. Muskrat. Very nice. And like I said, they do have different sizes and different handle types. The shapes and everything are basically the same. Just uh, the handles, the scales of the handles are different. Very nice. Now, not all muskrats come with that same blade. Every now and again, you're going to come back, come around with one that has typically one would be a clip point and the other one would be another style a pen knife or maybe a sheep's head something like that something different that uh, they came up with but typically it's considered to have the both the same blades and it would be a clip point different styles don't forget now like share subscribe <laughs> you know the story Pretty sure I'll be back again soon with another knife, maybe, maybe some fishing. Hopefully, winter's making a comeback again. We're getting a little snow again. <laughs> it's just not going to go away that easy. They do say last storm of the year, so winter storm anyway. A couple of pictures coming up for you. And don't forget, always, always. Be safe out there, especially with them sharp and shinies. You never know. Just say. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Bye.